And I'm going to show you guys how to install Project Sloth's inventory per suggestion. I'll leave a link to the resource in their Discord in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once we're here, we're going to go to the latest and install it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Once we're here, we're going to go into the QB section. We're going to drag this in. Once it's done, we're going to rename it and remove the extra stuff from the end. And then while we're in here, we're going to delete QB inventory. After you've done that, we're going to go back out to the resources folder and right click. Go to show more options. And then open with code. Once we're here, we're going to go to search and search for QB inventory. And then for replace, we're gonna put PS inventory. And then replace all and replace. Then you can close out of that. Okay, so we're back in the readme and if you scroll down, they do provide information and an example of what you need to use the decay system. If you do want to use the system, you need to provide or add a decay value for all of your items. So go to the server resources, go to the QB folder, QB core, shared items, and we're going to open it. And I'm just going to go to Oxy. And then we'll go back to the README. And I'll copy this. So once we go back, we need to remove this. And then paste what we copied. We'll add that there. Now this number represents the amount of days it takes to decay. And if delete is set to true, once it does decay, the item will be removed. So once you add the decay value and such to all the items, just hit file and save. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is change the logo that appears, starting with preparing the logo you want to use. So I'm going to go to Pixlr. I'll leave a link to this in the description and we're going to create new. And then for the size, I'm going to do 150 by 150 and hit create. Once we're here, I'm going to go to layer, add images layer, and then just browse on your computer uh, for whatever logo you want to use. I'm going to use this one. And then resize it to fit in the box here. Make sure it's centered. Then after that, I'm going to save it. as a PNG. So after that, I'm going to go to another site to convert it from PNG to SVG. So again, we'll browse on our computer for what we just downloaded. Once you find it, hit open. And then convert. Once it's done, download it. And then we're going to go back to the resource. into HTML and into images. And then we'll take what we just downloaded and drag it in. We're going to go back into HTML and open the UI section. And then we're going to find where the default symbol is here. And rename it to what we just added. After that, you can hit file and save and start your server and test it out. All right, so I'm back in the server and we have the inventory here. The logo looks fine. You can move the items around. One thing I will mention is the background blur. You can go to the settings here and you can enable it or disable it. So if you take it off and then open the inventory again, everything's clear. Then we have the items in their descriptions. That'll be all for this video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.